Hi, this is Greg, and I, I'm in San Diego, and I just picked up Hero. Bree brought him out to the car and loaded him up, and we're on our way to see Dr. Kong. He has a medical issue, and I've never seen anything like it, so let's see what Dr. Kong has to say. I don't know how he is. He just got him. Oh, you don't know? Okay. He just got him this morning. Oh, wow. He's tails wagging, so. When he, when he looked at it, doctor, he suspected either it was um, previously may have gotten into some kind of dog fight and was neglected and wasn't healed properly, or either he says not likely, but more likely, but if an option, hi. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, could be a rattlesnake bite or some kind of a poisonous bite. That same thing was may have been treated and then afterwards not properly treated is what he was trying right. to say. So those were one of his two options. So I saw the, that picture and the, what I'm feeling is, oh, need to see so deconstruction we need. Okay, not bad. Just uh, to, okay, holding this one. Oh, they missing, whole dead one is gone now. You leave it like this. Okay, you don't need it to the deconstruction. Not a snake bite. Okay. More likely dog bite and the ripping off to the that area. Okay. Here. See, construction is uh, sometimes I can do some skin has a construction going on to covering up, eh, not necessary. See, this is a missing here, missing here, here. So open up here, right? It'll look like a, a, no skin is involved. Okay, so this one spot, so the tissue here, they will cover up, they will covering up, they healed. So don't need a surgery yet. Okay. okay, good. Some dog had a tumor in here. I put a cut the whole nose here and the no nose here. Just nose is like a pig nose. Okay. They live with it. They live with that. Yeah. The cleft, right? I like the cleft, yes, yes. Hmm. This kind of situation, okay? Um, then have it to the make it to the skin grab to it to make it nicely cosmetically doing it. But this one, this one is a too missing too much. Reconstruct is some leftover good tissues and make some reconstructed. That I thought about that. But this one now, all dead tissue is gone, right? So live with it. Here's no problem to eating, nothing. Only later on, maybe sometimes we got a cosmetic way to do, but this time is too skin is not much available. Okay, no, no need all right. surgery. Perfect. Done. Thank you, Dr. Kong. Oh, you, know, you know already what we're doing. You know where we're going. I don't know where you're going. Don't know. We're not going up there. You don't get to go up there. No. So we just got done at Dr. Kong's, and that was probably the best news we could hope for. Unbelievable. A big shout out to the San Diego Immune Society and all the medical staff that helped Hero. Uh, Bree, thank you so much. And Dr. Kong, can't thank you enough. I really appreciate yours and Mariana's and Carol's and Andrew's help. And even though we didn't see Sinead, thank you for everything you guys do. This guy is amazing. I really have just, in the short amount of time I've been with him, what a personality, such big, big personality. <laughs> He's like, where are we going? Let's get out of here. So we're going to take off. Uh, we're going to get him out. We're going to have some fun with him. Stick around. Let's get him on a leash and see how he does. We just got to the park. Somebody wants to get out. So let's get let's get this boy out and let him have some fun. So the Humane Society had heroes down as one year old, and that looks to be pretty accurate. We had Dr. Kong take a look at him. He does seem to be in pretty good shape other than the damage. 
to his muzzle, which Dr. Kong thought that possibly could have been a dog bite or something that ripped the flesh and wasn't treated correctly. Whoa, he's respecting the end of the leash, although he's found it a couple times, but he needs a little work. We're gonna continue playing here. Um, very vocal, <laughs> it's funny if you left him alone, when I left him alone when going into Dr. Kong to sign in, he let me know that he didn't want to be left alone in the car. I came back out and he was fine. So we've been playing fetch and he's, he's pretty much destroyed this tennis ball. He's, it's got holes in it and it's to the point where I, I'm not gonna let him play with it anymore. I'm gonna switch over to this. This is a plastic squeezy ball. Here's the thing, this acts like sandpaper on their teeth and it'll wear them down prematurely, whereas this won't. You can buy several different kinds. You still wanna watch them. Even the ones that are indestructible can be chewed. So just be very careful. This is not a very sturdy one, but we're gonna see if he'll play with it. The other alternative, if your dog will play with them, it's just a regular chew toy. That's, that's a pretty sturdy chew toy, it's solid. This is made from recycled tennis shoes. Uh, you can put treats in the end. So something like that, you can switch it out with. He's really a good boy. Come on. It's starting to warm up. So we have some water for him. So we've been out in the park. We played a little fetch. He did well. He needs a little work on that. He's been good on a leash, even on the long line. He didn't seem to have too many issues. Look at this. He heard the squirrels, but he didn't see them. Which, <laughs> I hear something right now. He hears something right now. See, he's being very respectful at the end of the leash, which is good. That means he's gonna be a little easier to train. Watch this. That's easy. That's what we like to see. Look at the slack in the line. Do me a favor and share this video. Even if you're not interested in adopting Hero, if you share it, there is likely someone that will see it and put an application. And that's a great feeling to help him find a home. We'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. You're such a good boy. You are such a good boy. Right there, sit. Good sit. So we know he knows how to sit. Uh, he has not shown <laughs> he's, he's showing interest in the treats is what he's showing. He has not shown any aggression toward any of the dogs he met today. He met some little ones and big ones. We didn't really interact, we didn't engage them, but he did see them, he didn't, he didn't do anything that was concerning. He did bark when he wanted attention. When he felt it was his turn to get pets, he let us know, or if he wanted something else. He rode well in the car, except at one point, he literally was climbing out the window, and the window, it wasn't open that much, so I had to reconfigure that and get it so it was only open where he could put his muzzle out. I think somebody would prefer to be up in the front. <laughs> we got a little longer to go. But he's trying to get up here. <laughs> At one point he had his full head out and one of his legs, it was a little concerning as we were going down the highway. A big shout out to the rescue heroes. We did not incur any cost today at Dr. Kong's other than the exam. We thought we were gonna have a lot bigger bill than that, but the Rescue Heroes allowed us to go see Dr. Kong and see that he got examined, so we feel much better about finding him a home. He is neutered, and really, other than just a little more healing, there's, there's nothing wrong with this boy. He's ready to go home. I know, I know. What a great dog. What an absolutely great dog. Definitely is possibly somebody to play fetch. Uh, just needs a little work retrieving and bringing it back and releasing it. He was pretty good about getting it and bringing it back, but he wanted to chew on it. Just that's what he seemed to enjoy. Probably he just wanted to chew on it and then he kind of come back and he drop it, but he wasn't giving it, he was just dropping it and picking it back up. I got a treat, let's see, but he's not, this doesn't seem to be too interested. It's been a big day for Hero. He's got rescued from the shelter. He went to see Dr. Kong. He's been out in the park running and playing. He's, he's finally looks like he's starting to tire a little. And he's, he's like a normal drummer showing a pointer. There's nothing wrong with this boy. 
he's going to live a normal life, according to Dr. Kong. And if, if you have a place in your heart for Hero, please submit that application. And you just click the link right there. It'll take you to the website, and you can complete it.